When it didn't appear on the schedule for a while, people assumed I had given up on our playthrough of Hades. But nothing could be further from the truth. When it comes to that afterlife-themed adventure, I'm very... dead -icated. Welcome to the stream, my friends. Happy Thursday, and thank you for being here with me tonight. I wanted to say, unfortunately, I'm very dedicated to this game as well, but when it comes to this game, I think I'm just dead. Welcome to Dr. Ken Evil, part of Austin Powers. Welcome to my underground lair on the Game Boy Color, our continuing playthrough of one of the worst nightmares <laughs> that I've uh, endured yet on the stream. We have played this for several nights, so many I've lost count. I'm at a, a time investment of around 30 hours. I'm on stage 10, and I'm completely hopeless, <laughs> and yet for some reason refusing to stop playing. But, uh, we're gonna give this a couple hours. Uh, we're gonna keep this game brief. I want to leave plenty of time for Hades tonight. So, I, I really don't want to go over two hours with this game. We'll see, though. And we'll probably play more of it tomorrow. That's what I'm leaning toward. That we're gonna play this and Hades tonight. And this and Jump King tomorrow. It's gonna be a couple of rough nights. But, uh, thank you for being here with it. Uh, with us. Uh, Dead Zergling is first in chat. Bulls are important too, Zergling says. I don't think anyone would disagree. When you do finally win that silly game, we will c Cerberusate. That's a bit rough. <laughs> with you. Uh, welcome in, Jelly. Thank you for being here with us as well. That rough nothing, it's a great pun. You just pronounced it poorly. I did my best job. I can only work with what I see in the text. I'm glad to see. I'm glad to see that I'm at that, uh, that that my my level of puns is running off, is rubbing off on other people though <laughs> uh, you welcome in thank you for being here with us we're off to a great start I have trouble believing you only play this game two hours tonight, considering the other two nights' insanity. I wish you luck in limiting your time enjoying this, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, only, only, only about two hours. I'm gonna try not to go over two hours. I might, I might fail. I am highly motivated, though. I am highly motivated by the thought of, uh, 
making sure I leave time for Hades because I'd really like to beat Hades and be done with that game. <laughs> I'm ready, like I'm ready for that game to be over with too. So the more time I leave for it, the more attempts. It takes about an hour per attempt. So if I finish this. If I finish this in two hours, that leaves me about four attempts at Hades. Realistically, I'll probably only have the stamina for about three, but... I can hope. Good luck with this. Thank you for the good luck wishes. Definitely need it. This is a... This is a rotten putrid level. Thank you for the wheels, Zergling. We'll do that in just a moment. Okay. Play out this life at least first. There it goes. All right. Wheel of Scorching. Turn, turn, turn. Um, Warheads candy. Been a while on this one. Let's grab one at random. And I get blue. Blue raspberry. I think the blue raspberry is my favorite, so that was a lucky grab. seem to have somehow gotten a little melty, which, uh... I'm always afraid the meltiness is going to take away a little bit from the sour. I think my fear was, uh, I think my fear was in vain, or my fear was, uh, not in vain was, uh, I don't know, for naught with this one. Hey, thanks for the watch streak, Udo. Five streams. Appreciate you consistently joining us. We're past the worst of this hour. Now we're just in a enjoy the delicious candy mode. Sour stuff, forget it. I don't know, there's something, there's something about abrasive foods, I just like, uh, which is very, I, which I think is very odd, because given, given what a picky eater I am, you would think that I would gravitate toward just the most welcoming of foods, but, uh, 
In fact, I, I actually... I, I actually tend to enjoy very abrasive foods. I like things that are that are sour, spicy, acidic. Uh, to some degree, even even bitter in the way that I drink my coffee since I just since I just drink my coffee plain black. I wouldn't say I go out of my way for bitter flavors, though. Coffee, uh, I think coffee is the only, the only example of that flavor profile that I, and I don't know that it's the, actually the bitterness of the coffee that I enjoy. <laughs> but more like the whole experience of which the bitterness is a part. Welcome in, Mage01. Thank you for joining us. I'm a big fan of sour and spicy too. I'm in good company. M&M mainly in candy, other than others. My least favorite flavor, uh, my least favorite bitter flavor. Surprise, unwanted mold on the cheese, oh no. I'm uh I'm pretty cautious of that. I uh I'm not I'm not bold enough to eat to eat che if if the if there's anything even even remotely suspicious about a piece of cheese, I'm not bold enough to eat it. Nice hot hot cup of uh black coffee is huge for waking up. Made zero one says. I used to, uh, I used to have my coffee upon waking up, um, like a normal person, but since I've, since I've started doing the stream, and I stream really late at night, most of my coffee drinking is actually now relegated to the, to the nighttime hours. <laughs> almost always have a cup with me during the stream. Dr. Evil is at it again. He stole an Agent Brownie's sanity. Welcome in, Sir Rack of Lamb. Uh, it's, another, it's another rough night with Dr. Evil behind the wheel. And, uh, as I continue to crash and die under the wheel, around the wheel. I really don't eat chocolate or candy much anymore, Yudo says. I'm picky about that stuff now. You have your coffee midday. Like coffee in the mornings, uh, sometimes. 
after lunch is always... And sometimes after lunch is always good. My goodness. My goodness. I was never good at this level, but... Coming back to it after coming back to it after uh, after a little break, I'm feeling extra bad already tonight. I've forgotten the layout, so I need to I need to relearn where the really big jumps are. I knew there was a big jump nearby, I just, of course, didn't remember the details. Let's see if I can get this gas. Come on, there we go. Jump over the spikes. Why? What? That one I threw on purpose. Hey, Kusari Gama, welcome in. Great to have you with us again. Are you winning yet, son? I'm trying to make you proud, Dad. Trying and failing.
Sorry, I messed up my uh, windows on my desktop here. Get them back in order real quick. This level should be, this level should actually be really easy to clear. <laughs> is in theory a very simple level, but the, the, the issue with it is it doesn't have this level doesn't have any like very obvious obstacles. Uh, all of the like Like a level, like a, a level with a loop, you can see, I can see where I'm going to repeatedly die for, for hours numbering into the double digits. Like if, a, if there's, if there's a loop, then I know what to expect. But like this level is just, it's mostly a bunch of regular, just regular terrain. Right? It's very pointy. And that's the thing, is like... It's deceptive. big trouble the big trouble also is that even when i'm if i make it through if i make it through the majority of the level to where the so i know where the cat food and the cat are I've seen the cat food, I've seen the cat once, I've seen the cat food several times, but I've never obtained the cat food, and that's the thing, is like, at the top of this, the cat and the cat food are actually very near one another. Come on. 
So upsetting. But... The, uh... I don't know how to get the cat food, even though I've seen it. There's a very... Getting it... It's on the other side of a very tricky jump. Hey, Mansta, welcome in. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the lucky seven bits. I need... I need that luck. I don't, I don't just need a three or four leaf clover for luck. I need a, I need a 12 leaf clover. Come off the ground. The four leaf clovers are are only for large bit counts. I didn't know I didn't know it was like that. I had never I had never really looked at it. Well, hey, be between, uh, between, uh, seven clovers there, right? I've got 21 leaves. That's a lot of luck. I'm not going to turn my nose up at that. I died in a, like, perfectly balanced, upright position. over here. Okay. I know where I am. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> thank you for 44 bits, Mansta. I think you might need a little more for this game. Hey, thank you for that. I do. I do. I, I need all the luck I can get. That 44 and 7, that's 51. Uh, 153, 153 leaves. I don't remember what the world looks like up here. Oh no. 
I do remember this part. Alright, so here's the thing. No, no, no! Ah! We were right next to the cat food! We're right next to the jump I don't know how to make. Uh, the rest of that sentence was supposed to be, here's the thing, the, the cat food's over there, but I don't know how to make this jump. But then I, then I died a jump early. Because of course I did. What else would I do? I'm not gonna play, um, I'm not going to play a zero life unless it's on the other side of the checkpoint. Uh, needs more. Thank you for, thank you for 49 more bits, man, to 300 leaves. Let's go. I wonder what the, um, I wonder what the record is for, like, Clover with the most leaves. I wanted to give you simple math so it doesn't distract you. Thank you. That's all I could do. Uh, all I could, all I can do is very simple math. <laughs> Afternoon board jams, the evil has indeed returned. For a little while, briefly tonight. We're not we're not gonna play this very long tonight. The the lion's share of our stream has got to go to Hades tonight. Fifty one times three is enough to is enough to kill a run for me. <sighs> I find math to be kind of interesting. I did very well. I did very well at math in school, but it never, uh, it never really stuck with me any longer than I needed it for for an exam, really. I do find it easy for, I do find it to be easy from time to time to get kind of sucked into like a a black hole of YouTube videos so I watch a I watch a string of videos about like weird or interesting math concepts that I sort of only halfway understand but when I'm watching the video I'm like ah oh, yes I follow along perfectly, and I feel very smart, but after the video, I remember nothing.
Hey, Derek Ocean, welcome in. Hope you are well tonight. More Dr. Evil, yep. I'm gonna beat it. I'm gonna beat it. I'm gonna be one of the... I'm going to be one of the proud and unhappy few that have ever made it all the way through this terrible adventure. <laughs> Even if it takes the rest of my life. Which, which it very well may do. So to get the cat food, I have to make a jump across this, and I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to get the air you're required to get. And I can't ever practice it, and I can't practice it because it's so hard to get there in the first place. Greg, welcome in. No offense, but I think we all need help. Help for either playing or watching this game, knowing how bad it is. It's, 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 it's shaping up. It's shaping up to be the worst thing we've done on the stream. I... I mean, I really don't know what, at this point, what, what could really compete with it, aside from, aside from Echo and Jump King. Like, that's really... That's really it. Dr. Evil, Knievel, Jump King, and Echo the Dolphin are kind of the... They're kind of the three-headed dog that guards my underworld. It's like a train wreck, Derek says. You can't look away. Stare at a, if you stare at a train wreck, though, like, you might get a sharp piece of metal in your eye. This game, this game ha feels like, this game feels like having a sharp piece of metal in your eye. Is this a new level I spy? Welcome in next. Um, that depends when last you were with us. We are up to level 10, I think. I haven't, I haven't cleared a new level yet tonight. We made it up to level 10 last time we played this on Tuesday. And level 10 is where I remain for now. It's not... It's not... It's 
just not possible. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Nothing in this game makes sense. Uh. Level 10. Burn this, burn every copy, Derek says. <laughs> Playing some PlayStation 2 stuff on your mini PC, right on? gonna be playing some uh, we're gonna be playing some PlayStation 2 games pretty soon hopefully uh, hopefully you're playing better stuff than I'm planning to play I actually don't have enough fuel to beat this level. We got the cat food! That's a new PB! For this stage. I guess technically for the game as well. Oh, and I definitely uh, appreciate that you've... Uh, I definitely appreciate that you've been lurking next. Thank you for that. Whether active in the chat or just hanging out kind of quietly in spirit, I'm always very grateful to have people here with me. No, I forgot that was... Well, I thought I'd already passed that obstacle. Oh, alas. I'm trying a party game called Super Farm. Might be only be marginally better than this. Cat food lost. All too true. I mean, I never had any doubt it would happen, so doesn't really doesn't really sting when you know it's inevitable. Alright, it stings. But it's not an unexpected sting. I think I might be able to get the cat food again though. When I the that jump I think that jump might be replicable. I just need a lot more speed than I thought I needed before. Or I got or I just got really lucky. We'll find out eventually. Or we won't. Or we won't or I'll just have a, another impossible crash and we won't find out anything. Hey, Pookie Stan, welcome in. A day of suffering, Austin Powers and then Hades. Yep, it's a rough night. It's gonna be rougher. It's gonna be rougher tomorrow. 
Hades is not like the thing about Hades is it's a very good game but I can't beat it <laughs> I, d I don't have anything left to do I don't have anything left to do but beat the game and I can't do it and so I'm getting tired of it It doesn't take much to be better, Derek says. Um, I have to I have to chew on that thought for a while. I don't know. feel like I meant any other game besides this can be better even with a little effort I don't blame you for struggling <laughs> okay I thought okay well I thought you were I, th I did re I did interpret that as being in reference to my gameplay, and I thought that perhaps you were telling me that like I was I was close to being to I was close to getting good enough to beat this, and I was thinking, well, I don't really feel like I'm close to being better. <laughs> I think. Uh, I feel, I feel like a lot of what I get in this game is really out of my control. <sighs> With that in mind, I completely agree. It, it's hard, it, it's hard to find a game that's not better than this. <laughs> There's no getting better at this game, just getting luckier. I mean, I do learn a few things here and there. I do... I have... The thing is, like, I... There are things I can do to play better, but my better play doesn't stop the game from treating me worse. A lot of the times, the ways that I die feel like they are un completely unrelated to anything I have done in the gameplay. <laughs> they, they feel completely random and undeserved.
<laughs> Brownie doesn't get better at video games. He memorizes them over the course of 50 plus hours. That's the thing to do. My my ET playthrough. So the thing about the thing about ET is that the play our playthrough of ET was was a, was definitely a lot less frustrating than this. But that's because it was a lot shorter. <laughs> ET is a game with like a six minute gameplay loop, and you know it only took me twelve hours to beat it. <laughs> Little did we know I would be spending upward of that on single levels in this game one day. <laughs> uh. Hey, cows. Welcome in. How goes eviling? Uh, well, I picked up the cat food, so uh, I technically... I technically made progress on one run. Then, of course, I died and erased it all. A lot of people like to defend ET now. The, I feel like the I feel like the weather is the weather has has shifted on that game. I have more I feel like I I feel like I encounter more ET defenders than detractors nowadays. Impossible. Impossible. To peel back up off of that spike like that is impossible. There are a hundred identical spikes in this level, and never have I ever peeled away from one of one of, one of any of the other ones, but only that one. It's impossible. And yet it happens because because it's the worst thing that could happen to me at that moment. And what will happen to you in this game at any given moment is the worst thing that can happen. Even if it's something that can't. Super Farm is surprisingly okay-ish, but it's more of a multiplayer party game. That's how I felt about... We played a game, I think it was called Ghost Mansion Party. It was like a Mario Party clone. It was pretty okay to play through, but because it was intended to be a multiplayer game, I think it would have been better with other humans. I 
I can only think of one game that, that I would say is worse. Not because of the gameplay, but because it had issues and crashed a lot, so it was hard to finish, Derek says. Wouldn't surprise me if this game isn't... I think, you, I think you mean it wouldn't surprise me if this game is impossible. We already know this game was never thoroughly tested. <laughs> uh, no worries. Derek says the game you're thinking of is called Troll and I? I don't think I've ever heard of that game. I know I've been keeping, I know I've been keeping these, uh, I know I've been keeping my opinions about this game pretty tightly under wraps, and everyone is, everyone is desperately waiting for, for my review. Well, I'll finally say it, I'll finally let everyone know what I think. This game is bad. There, I said it. Not only bad, it's one of the worst ever. Just awesome. Troll and I is a pretty low budget indie game. Just did did not function well. Even got a second copy later on and played it for a while till I ran into trouble again. <laughs> Thank you. 
The way that I fall forward after that edge just, just makes no sense. I'm not going fast enough or at a steep enough angle for a flip around the front end tire to make any sense. I'm not an expert in physics, but I can tell it doesn't feel right. Too bad this game doesn't have that problem, that it doesn't crash. That would be pretty nice. If the game crashed and we lost our save file, that would be really convenient. Maybe, you know, I could just give out my home address on the stream and some someone could someone could come over and break in and steal this for me. There's there's an there's an I there's an idea of how to get out of this mess. That that's a good one, right? Yeah, don't don't do it. The weather's terrible where he is. You're not you're not wrong. Although it was a little warm today, the snow has gotten uh, the snow is getting pretty slushy. Well, at least in the in the places where like it's not so like piled high. Most of the snow isn't slushy, but everywhere that like. You know, like when I run the snow blower and it doesn't do a perfect job, all that snow is slushy now. Which actually makes the ground more gross to walk on. So, while I'm touting the slushiness as an improvement... Uh, it's kind of not really... <clears throat> now I know how bad this game is. The burglar would turn himself in for stealing this, Derek says. to say there are many things I would like to say about this game <laughs> raffle this game off to a chat member <laughs> I think that 
I think that con I, I think that giving someone a copy of this game constitutes a felony in most states. I wouldn't risk it. Cruel and unusual punishment. Uh. <laughs> oh, I see. I didn't. I didn't read part two of the comment about having to, about. Oh no. Oh, I had to mail it out before I could finish it. There's really nothing that can save me from this one at this point. As I, I proclaimed... I proclaimed about 20 hours ago that if I that if that if something were to happen to my save file and I was forced to start over that we would just be done. But the the this game has become such a part of the stream now. I would just have to start it over. I I wouldn't I wouldn't have that I no one would let me get away with that. Uh as much as as much as I might want to hope and dream about a world where I could find an excuse to to put this game down. I think if we all look deep within our hearts, none of us truly want that. Yeah, they take everything else and just leave the game for me. <laughs> uh, as Craig says. Yeah, we had a lot of, uh, we had a ton. We had a ton of fog today. It was, um... It was crazy. It was crazy driving around outside today. I could barely see anything. I'm appreciating how much less bad winter was this season, Pookie says. This game is like the ring. Hey, Loyal to Soil, welcome in. <laughs> Stoked to get you playing this masterful art. Hours of enjoyment and that evil meter. <laughs> well, welcome in, Loyal. We're only gonna play this game a, a little while tonight. It's not. It's not a. It's not a big seven-hour session like we have been doing. Uh, we're gonna. We're gonna make sure we spend most of our time on Hades, but uh, we're gonna keep going a little while yet. You've caught. You've caught a bit of it. And uh, lucky, and lucky for you, this game's not going anywhere anytime soon. I'm, uh... I'm not making progress. That, that bounce right there, that bounce can't happen, and it does all the time. Hey, Aiden, welcome in. Still playing this game. I am still playing this one. I've lost count. I've lost count of how long uh, of how long I've been working on it. I know it's around thirty hours. That's a uh, that's a long time for something that 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 many people would class as a mini-game, right? 
It's not. It's not even its own game. It's a. It's a game within a game. That's a copy of another game, and it's taking me so long. Thanks for having me in, Loyal says. I wish we'd have a seven-hour session. Well, we've already done it twice this week, Loyal. I played this on Sunday and Tuesday, and both nights I played it for six or seven hours. It was... it was pretty wild. <laughs> What'd you have for dinner? Uh, Jelly and I got, uh... We got sandwiches from Arby's for dinner tonight. Roast beef sandwiches. I finally I finally ran out of chicken so I couldn't make fried rice. So we picked up sandwiches instead. They were really good. If it were my copy, it would already be out, Greg says. I don't think it's fair to call this game jank. Jank games at least have some good points, Greg says. It's pretty it's pretty hard to defend this one. That's dedication to the jank, Yaden said. I'm uh I'm I'm dug my heels are dug in. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and clear it. Here's the thing, like compare I've been playing this, I've been playing this for, for, like I said, 30 hours. I'm on stage 10 of, like, probably 25, so not even halfway through. Like, time investment-wise, like, the very first time I played Contra on the NES, I think we beat it in less than 6 hours without the Konami code. And it, that, like, that was my very first time ever playing the game, was when we did it on the stream. So just like... The time. The, the, the time difference. Brownie's no quitter. Hey, Ferrum Tusk, good to see you again. We meet again. Under the same exact Jankuary game. How am I tonight? I'm doing alright. The game is going the game is going poorly as always, but my spirits are fairly high. Hopefully you're doing well. Arby's is always good to me, Derek says.
One of the things I've always appreciated about Arby's is that their sandwiches naturally come plain. So, I, I, uh, I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry when I get a sandwich from Arby's about... running into a... running into some sneaky sauce or vegetable that somehow found its way onto my sandwich. Lying low in the tall grass and waiting to ruin my dining experience. can't stand anything not homemade. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, I do myself prefer homemade food and my own cooking to most of what I can get anywhere else, but... There you go. It's not always... There are time and energy factors to consider. I don't I don't have an inexhaustible supply of both. Uh only places uh it's like China buffet or sushi places. I get ill from Taco Bell or Arby's. Fair enough. I uh, I would definitely avoid them too if that were the case. I gen I generally avoid Taco Bell. Um, I don't necessarily have anything against it, but there's not there's nothing plain on the menu at Taco Bell, and. It's very... The items that are on their menu, when you, uh, when you have them remove everything that's not the meat, they rapidly become shockingly insubstantial. Late night at work, decided to stop by. I appreciate it, Tusk. Always, uh, always glad when you can uh, make some time to spend with us. Or when you have some time to spend and you choose to spend it with us. Those sauces, they hide. Popeye's chicken gets me sick, Loyal says. I don't know if I've ever had Popeye's. I feel like I probably have, but I don't have a specific memory of it. I ate almost everything. Genuinely a garbage disposal, Tush says. <laughs> I think my, uh, I think my sister is more like that. She may, she may not appreciate me comparing her to a garbage disposal, <laughs> but she's, uh, she's always been super adventurous with food, uh, particularly in comparison to me. You're, uh, 
we're very we're very opposite in that uh, in that regard. <laughs> This is a rock star game, uh, to us. It's not always the case, mind you. I used to live off fast food, etc. And I ate well, then I could not anymore. It's like when I stopped drinking Mountain Dew, it just tastes horrible now. Yeah. A lot of those, uh, I think a lot of those kind of things are, are acquired. Um, I get that. You should play the new King Kong game. It was fun, honestly, Derek says. I feel like I feel like Derek is attempting to lure me into a trap. <laughs> what? Yeah, this is a Rockstar game. So this game was published by Rockstar. It was developed by Tarantula. Um But Rockstar bought Tarantula, so. It was developed by Rockstar, too. <laughs> they just didn't know it yet. <laughs> How does Rockstar go from GTA to this? I... <sighs> I'm not really even the biggest, uh, I'm not even really the biggest GTA fan myself. I, uh, don't really, like, I don't think the games are bad or anything, I just don't really have a lot of interest in them. Yeah, this is a Rockstar game, Loyal. Hey, Christian Cool, thank you for the lurk. Hope the stream is going good. So far, so good. Be even better if I could beat this level, but... Can't ask for too much. Don't want to be greedy. Like the old uh, GTAs, the best, the PlayStation 2 era, Derek says. Those are the only ones that I have any, like, real experience with. GTA 3 and Vice City, mostly. A little bit of uh, San Andreas, but mostly the other two. Um, but just, just playing them basically in destruction mode on, uh, on my friend's save file. 
I've never, uh, I've never really attempted to do story or missions or anything in any of those games. I did have fun. I did have fun when I did play them, but I haven't felt the need to, to ever, like, take one seriously and try to get through it. Genre I can't stand parkour games, Derek says. Um, I guess I've never, I guess I've never played a parkour game. That would be like uh, something like, I don't know, Mirror's Edge. <laughs> That's like a first-person parkour game, right? Is Jump King a parkour game? <laughs> Jump King is, uh... Jump King is like a, uh... I don't know, a gravity simulator? I was trying to think of a more clever thing to call it, but... Didn't work. We have a raid! Old school McFly! Welcome in, McFly! Thank you for the raid! Welcome to a real nightmare. I don't know if you've ever played Austin Powers on the Game Boy Color, but, uh... That's, that's what I've been doing for way too long. This is the kind of game you should play for about... Three minutes at the most. And we've been playing it for like seven or eight nights. Oh, I've made some, I've made some bad decisions. <laughs> hopefully you, uh, hopefully you're having a better stream. Let us know what you were doing and how it treated you. We'd love to hear. Jump King is a test of patience. It certainly is. couple NES homebrews, and then some Final Fantasy 3. I assume that's NES Final Fantasy 3 and not Super NES Final Fantasy 3, right? The, the true Final Fantasy 3. Playing the 3D remake of it. Is it a, an a, is it a, an official remake or a fan remake?
Official. On scene. Right on. I was thinking of, like, that, um... There was a... There was a thing... I saw, like, a year or two ago. It might be older than that, where, uh... There was some kind of thing where you could load NES games and it would make them 3D. I was thinking maybe it was something like that. Try Ghost Runner. Oh, Derek says, I played Little Mirror's Edge. It was okay, but I got stuck and gave up. Tried Ghost Runner, which I didn't know was a parkour game. Hated it. Also, I don't do rhythm games, Derek says. I don't play... I don't play a lot of rhythm games, but... I, uh... There was a time... There was a time where I was, uh... Where I did the whole plastic guitar thing. The, the Guitar Hero and Rock Band stuff. Jelly and I used to like to play those with some of our co-workers. Jelly liked the drums. She didn't like the... She doesn't like the, uh, the guitars. I have that thing. It's called 3D Sin VR. Turns NES games in 3D VR games. Yeah, yeah. So that's, uh, when you said 3D remake, that's just when I combine that with NES in my head. That's what I was picturing with something like that thing. I, I, I see I was off the mark, but that's why, I, that's why I had to ask. That's why I was curious. Out of fuel. We were really close. We were really close to the fuel can. Here's where I died, right? Right here. No! There we go. Well, there was the fuel can I was talking about. Oh. Awful. So, I actually haven't noticed if anything gives us a 1-up on this stage. Sometimes, like, on some of the stages, we are... You get 1-ups from your points. And our points... We keep our points even if we have to... Even if we have to reload our save file. So... On different stages, different items end up giving us one-ups because they, because of just a different, a diff, because at a different point we'll hit a threshold where, where we get enough points. But on some levels, some levels we don't ever get any one, we don't ever get a one-up because we're just in, we're just in limbo, like between... There's just not enough points on the on the on the board. 
So I haven't I haven't noticed what our situation yet is with this stage and whether or not the checkpoint doesn't give us a one up, but the cat food might if we collect that. Um I didn't pay attention. But if nothing gives us a one up, we're in kind of a tough spot because really if I can't get a one up, I have to make it to the checkpoint on our first life. I have to make it to the cat food on our second, and then I have to clear the stage before we lose our third. Um, because I don't... I don't think that I can survive collecting the cat food. I think if I make it into that area, I can I'm not going to be able to make it out. So if I, if I don't have an extra life in my pocket when we pick it up and we don't get an extra life, then it's meaningless. Hmm. Guess I have to... Guess I have to cross my fingers and, and pray that, that the cat food gives us the one-up I need. Our goal in this game is we have to drive around the board until we collect a box of cat food, and then we have to deliver that food to our cat, who is also hidden somewhere on the board. Um, basically, we have to do that before the game robs us. Before the game just decides, it decides it's tired of me being alive and has me die for no reason, which could happen at any point. So our primary goal regarding the cat food and the cat is theoretically possible. The other goal of surviving the game wanting to kill me is not. Basically all I'm doing is just repeating the same level until the until the impossible accidentally happens. So annoying. So annoying. I... Flips like that just happen all the time and there's no reason. Look, I did the same thing I did last time. I don't see how it was significantly different, but I got different results. What's going on? Alright, this is a place I tend to die here a lot. Can I not? Nope. 
death is mandatory. Oh, awesome. <laughs> How or why did that spin happen? No reason. No reason. These things just do. Pretty sure the random behavior of the game can be chalked up to one of Dr. Evil's evil plans, Cows says. definitely I definitely feel like this game had to be put together by someone with powerful evil in their hearts I would have thought I would have thought that Dr. Evil was a I was a fictional character, but after after playing after playing this game, I believe. I believe Dr. Evil is real and he makes games. It's so irritating. It's so irritating to lose a life right here at the start of the stage. It's irritating to lose a life no matter where we lose it, but I don't know. It just seems that like it's so frequent that the first the first of our set of lives every time I I every time I reload the game is just wasted right here on a bounce that's not Possible. I I hate this game.
I hope the people that worked on this game, I hope that they get up in the middle of the night and have to go to the bathroom, and they sit down on the toilet without realizing that someone left the seat up. Brownie. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Brownie's taking the gloves off. Uh. Your calls for for uh, karmatic vengeance are more savage than any amount of cursing or name calling could ever be. Uh. Uh. Don't, 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 don't get on my bad side. I know, I really, I really know how to jinx someone. <laughs> uh. I thought that was a typo at first, but you know what? I don't think it is. I think that's a, I think that, I think that's a combination of the words karma and comedy. <laughs> Carmedic. Uh. Yeah. I did I I didn't get it I didn't get it at first, but now I love it. Carmedic. Hey, thank you for the wheel, Loyal. Um, let me finish this life and then we'll give it a spin. Hey, this life is over. What do you know? Time for a spin. It's almost time to stop playing this for the night. I said about two hours. We're almost at the two hour mark. So I'm going to make a few more attempts and then we're going to give up and we'll play it again tomorrow. Because I want to I wanna make sure we get to play a lot of Hades tonight. Wheel of Scorching, turn, turn, turn. Oh, something new. What is that? That is kicking garlic. So all of the sauces on the wheel are from a set called the Good Hurt Fuego. They come in these cute little bottles. They they cover a 
large uh, span of heat levels, and uh, most of what's been on the wheel has been toward the milder end. I can't get the foil off of the cap without without a knife. It's very it's very tricky to get into these bottles. We're currently at the milder end, but uh, as time moves on, things should get hotter and hotter. Never knew there was a co-host on the couch. This is Isaac. Isaac's usually here on the couch with me. Sometimes, sometimes he has other things to do. And I'm flying solo, but yeah, Isaac, he's a he's a big fan of the stream, and he's got a he's got a he's got a great seat. Welcome in, uh, by the way, Manic Pixel. Pleasure to have you with us tonight. I think Isaac's first appearance on the stream was. Isaac's first appearance on the stream was one month into the stream's lifespan. His first appearance was as an April Fool's joke. I went away I went away for a BRB and when I came back Isaac had replaced me. And then he made a uh, Occasional appearances after that, and uh, then just became a a, a a standard feature, pretty much. <laughs> he likes to dress up for the holidays. Yeah, he's uh, Isaac's looking pretty plain right now. He's usually a bit more fashionable, but. Uh, we haven't been able to. We haven't had an opportunity lately to go out and get him anything interesting to uh, to wear. All right. So, first time having this. This is the kicking garlic sauce. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be just a, another cayenne-based sauce. But uh, we'll see. Whoa. Plain wheat cracker is the delivery method. that um it does it does seem like it's probably cayenne pepper that the heat comes from in this it's um it's all right very garlicky i like it better than that garlic herb sauce i think it's got a little more heat it's not, um, it's not too extreme, though. There's hotter, there's hotter sauces on the wheel right now. I like that, though. It's pretty simple. It's pretty good. Hey, Pokemon, welcome in. I was second here as usual, but after I saw that, I just gave up and left. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Garlic is good for the heart. Well, that's good news for me. I eat a lot of garlic. 
I'm like uh, I'm like Wario. I like to I like to just eat whole whole uh, whole bulbs of garlic. Disco Bear, welcome in. Garlic sauces are good. It's good for the heart, unless you're a vampire like me, Cal says. Vampires traditionally warded off with garlic or pineapple. Honestly, that sauce sounds bomb, Loyal says. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, uh... I'm gonna look forward to landing on that one again. And with how much Ghosts and Goblins Frowny has played, him looking like a skeleton wouldn't be all that surprising. <laughs> so, Isaac, we, we were playing, um... We were playing Paper Mario the first time Isaac appeared on the stream. It was during uh, it was during our Paper Mario playthrough. About to turn into a vampire, inject synthetic garlic concentrate, and call me in the morning. Pokemon says. That's a Blade reference, by the way. I've seen, uh, I've seen the, the movie, uh, Blade. Um, it's been a long time. They, uh, they have, they have, like, special bullets with garlic. With, like, with, like, garlic concentrate inside of them. Is that right? I thought they used silver bullets. I thought they made I thought they made special bullets. They're big on silver. So they have silver nitrate bullets. Even though silver is only for werewolves. I haven't seen that movie in so long. I will defer to the wisdom of anyone else who uh, claims to uh, to know it. Oh yeah, I mean the silver thing. Yeah, there's there's tons of stuff that. Where they sort of, where they, where, like, yeah, where, like, werewolf lore gets mixed into vampire lore like that. Basically, basically, you have to relearn the rules for every individual story, because... It's never consistent. If I made a werewolf movie, a pie to the face would suffice.
Somebody call the Three Stooges. Yeah, what was that? That was my question. I'm just... The thing is that... I shouldn't be surprised. The, the game does garbage like that to me at every possible turn. I'm never... I'm never... I'm never safe from being robbed by absolute nonsense. Unjustifiable. There's no way out of this mess. Would it be a moon pie, Zergling says. A werewolf... A werewolf can only be destroyed with a moon pie. Sunflowers and sunflower seeds for vampires. We're on to something. Make sure you never, uh, make sure you never fight a werewolf on an empty stomach. Because if you're if you're hungry when you do, you may give in to temptation and take a bite out of your weapon. But uh, it won't have any effect unless it's a full moon pie. Creativity is at its best when the streamer is stuck in a single part of a game. It's a... it's a defense mechanism. When there's when there's nothing interesting happening on the stream, then your mind automatically compensates. Shifting, uh, re redirecting power to the creativity centers. So, I've been reading The Witches by Roald Dahl, whose name I'm not sure how to pronounce. Um, but uh, I've been reading that book because I have a second grade reading level. And uh, I've never read it before, and it's a, it's, it's, it has a strange structure to it, because it's not like... It doesn't, like, tell... It doesn't, like, tell a narrative straight across the story. I mean, it does, but 
it takes a long time for the, like, plot of the book to actually start. It's like the first several chapters, probably a third of the book, are just the narrator hanging out with his grandmother, and she's telling him, like, basically, like, facts about witches in the universe of this story, and some of their, uh, notorious misdeeds, but, uh, there's a part where she gives us an example. She tells a story about a witch made a, made a little girl disappear. And the family discovered, they found her the next day inside of a painting hanging on their wall. Like they, they had a I don't know, just a painting in their house of, of, like, it sounded like it was, like, a, like, a field with a pond and a barn, but their, uh, the, their daughter had been, there was a figure uh, that wasn't in the painting before, it was now in the painting the next day, and it was, uh, looked exactly like their daughter, and they said, and they mentioned how every day, she would be in a different place in the painting, doing something different. And as the years went by, she got older and older and older until, you know, she became a very old woman. And then one day, she just wasn't in the painting anymore, right? So presumably she died or whatever. And I'm not, I'm probably not telling it well enough to convey it, but that idea was actually legitimately creepy to me. But it was also an idea that I'm 100% certain I have encountered in another story. And so I don't know, but I cannot for the life of me remember where I've already heard that story before. Because I've never read this book. So I don't know who... I don't know... I don't know who lifted it from whom. But I, but I, but I know that multiple, multiple people have used the same story. It can be pretty, uh, it can be pretty maddening when you half remember a piece of media. And it's like right on the, or just right on the tip of your brain and you, and you just, and you just can't remember where it was you, you saw, where it was you saw something. Hey, Mitty, welcome in. Thank you for joining us again. This again, yeah. We're we're almost done with it for tonight. I keep saying I'm going to wrap up, and I just haven't done it. But we're past... I was supposed to play this for two hours, and we just passed the two-hour mark. So, uh... We're about to... We're about to switch. We're about to switch gears and play Hades for the rest of the night. So if you came in specifically for this greatness, I'm, uh, I'm afraid I might let you down a little bit. But never fear, I'm going to play it again tomorrow night. <laughs> and probably for a bit longer.
All right, next run that doesn't next run that doesn't reach the checkpoint is gonna be it. I'll live since it's been a couple weeks since I was here last. My head can is now that you've been streaming this nonstop since. You're only about you're only about half wrong. <laughs> so the if you if you round up the time, your head cannon isn't really uh, doesn't even really need to be corrected. Not too far off, honestly, counts. I played this uh, just this week alone on Sunday night. I think I played this on. I, on Sunday and Tuesday night, I think I played this for seven hours each night. So I've been I've been playing it every other day, and sometimes for way too much time. I've been enjoying this game a lot. I'd personally like to see more of this stream by Frowny Loyal says. Well, if you're if you're free tomorrow night, Loyal, we're gonna play it at the beginning of the stream tomorrow too. And if you miss that stream, don't worry, because I'm I'm not I don't I don't expect I'm gonna finish it anytime soon. <laughs> There'll probably there'll probably be dozens of more opportunities. Hey, we hit the checkpoint, so we're going to make one more attempt after this, at least. You'll be here tomorrow night, then. We'll be happy to have you. We'll be happy to have you. I love making it when I can. Thank you, Loyal. No, 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 no. No, no! Why? How is that even a thing that happened to me? Alright, if we don't make it to the checkpoint, it, it's over. That's the, uh... That's the position we're in right now.
No. Well, unfortunately, we hit the checkpoint, so <laughs> there'll be another attempt. I don't know if setting little conditions like that... I don't know if setting little conditions like that, like, somehow, <laughs> somehow makes me play a little better, or if it has, like, a effect to make the game rein in its nonsense a bit. so many of them. It's a... It's a world full of ruthless triangles. Ooh, off to a good start on this one. Last life, will we reach the checkpoint? Will we do it? Do we keep the game alive? Yuck, what was that? <laughs> this is the checkpoint right here. Oh, we won another attempt. I'm so good at reaching, I'm so good at reaching this checkpoint now, we might just play this the rest of the night. <laughs> don't, 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 don't get your hopes up.
Let's go. That was risky. That was risky jumping over that triangle the way that I did. I mean, you know, it would also be acceptable, instead of just reaching the checkpoint, it would also be acceptable to just beat the level. I wouldn't complain about that. You know you want to play this all night. You'd have no problem switching to Hades. I mean, you're kind of right, but not entirely. I do want, I do very much want to be done with Hades, and that can't happen if I don't play it, so. I am, I am very much motivated to play that game as well. I feel like I feel like when we've gotten to the point though where we where I where I set these little where I set these little deals, right? I, I say I quit if I don't reach the checkpoint. See what I'm doing is I'm forcing the game into an awkward position because now now the game has a dilemma because it wants to torture me as much as it can, but in order to 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 stretch out my torment, it has to let me do decently for a while. So. You see, really, really what I'm doing, what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm putting pressure on the game, and that's like, that's the situation we want to be in, right? It's only the, uh, it's only the, the end of the attempts that give us that leverage that we need to force the game to behave a little bit. Because look look at how consistently I'm reaching the checkpoint. I died. I died as I grabbed it. But look how consistently I'm reaching it now. Oh, four sides. Hey, good to see you again. Been a, been a bit. I hope you've been doing well. Thank you very much for the uh, prime sub. That brings it to four months. Thank you for that. Welcome to... Welcome to just the worst, the worst possible game. soul-crushing torment this game is. Doing good. Hope you're good, too. I, uh... I'm feeling alright. Spirits are pretty high. Keep doing that, and then I can beat the game faster, Craig says. If I ever do, if I if I do reach if I ever do reach the cat food, then we're gonna shift the goal, and I'm gonna say we're gonna quit after any run that doesn't reach the cat food. This is some jank. 
This is, uh, this is, this is the, uh, this is the jank of legends. game is the this is the this game is the kind of jank that like most people don't believe is real It's transcendent. Oh, you know what? It doesn't even matter. I mean, I'm still gonna abide by the arbitrary rule that I set. But even if I did make it to the checkpoint, it, like, it doesn't matter because I can't... Well, it would give me a... Never mind. Alright, well, we had, a, we had a run that didn't make it to the checkpoint. That's it with this game for tonight, my friends. We're done. We're done. I give up. Dr. Dr. Knievel is over. We will play it some more tomorrow. <laughs> But it's done for tonight, my friends. It's time for Hades. Loyal wants one more run, but I'm afraid it's not gonna happen. I will, I will say this. What time is it? It's almost two. If I beat Hades within the, if I beat Hades before 4 a.m., I'll play more of this tonight. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Good night, Ken Evil. I'll take that, Loyal says. Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be just my luck? Well, I might have a problem here. The television isn't turning on. I'm gonna have to step away to uh, to switch the consoles over to the Switch. Um, 
Don't do, don't don't put that idea out there into the universe, Chaos. <laughs> uh, that is what I was thinking. That oh no, my TV's burnt out. Now I'm gonna have to play this for the rest of the night. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cancel Hades and play this. My TV's burnt out. I think this is the batteries of our remote are dead. I'm gonna have to get up and go push the button. Uh, so uh, thank you for uh, thank you for for everyone who's endured more uh, Ken Evil with me tonight. Uh, by the way, though, I do appreciate you sticking through this one with me. We'll play more of it tomorrow at the start of the stream. Tomorrow will be Ken Evil and Jump King, but we're gonna play Hades now. We'll play more. We will. I'm serious. If I beat this before 4 a.m., we'll play. If I, or if I beat Hades before 4 a.m., we'll play more of this. But I think there's no way that'll happen. So. <clears throat> Gotta go, Mitty says. Glad I stopped by for a bit of jank. Have fun with Hades. Hey, thank you, Mitty. I appreciate you stopping in. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. And uh, be well until we get to see you again. Alright, so let me let me do that switchover process. I'll see you in a moment, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> 